stuff is really short. I packed a couple extra poems in here. This is, uh, this next two poems are just called Portraits, and they're just meant to, uh, capture a moment. Um, trying to be as objective as I can from the point of view of just someone watching someone else. He has crow's feet and gray hair. He's got a scar under his cheek and arthritis. All of this looks earned. There's a slight breeze, and you can tell because the charmed uh, snake of smoke is belly dancing off his cigarette a little bit to the left. He takes a drag with this intensity, like he's in this movie, and he's about to say something cathartic to our young protagonist about the meaning of life. But he doesn't say anything. He just flicks the ashes on the ground and keeps staring across the street at the steaming asphalt, the now vacant lot. Like something is supposed to be there, but he can't for the life of him remember what. Portrait number two. She squishes the pill bug with the tip of her shoe, giving it a nice twist at the end to be sure the deed was done. She stares for a long while at what must have looked like a Rorschach test, speckled with bits of recognizable body parts, legs, guts, and such, as if searching for a bigger picture that must have been hiding there. She jumps back into herself when she recognizes the voice of a little boy calling from the swing nearby. She looks exhausted, like she spent all day carrying the world, and this is the rare moment when the universe allows her to sit down. She reluctantly rises from her semi-comfortable bench and shuffles toward the impatient child, who is now screaming wordlessly for her. She's been dealing with this behavior for a long time. You can tell because the pterodactyl, oh, the pterodactyl screeches that he's admitting, uh, admitting, send, uh, no, that send the nearby blind man's dog into fits, don't face her at all. She grabs the metal ropes of the swing, pulling him back to the highest point of the pendulum and lets go. The siren boy immediately falls silent. His eyes slowly shut. His face melts into what only can be described as un the untarnished bliss that we all misplaced, packed away somewhere in the attic with all those picture books. He's flying. For the first time, she doesn't have to fake a smile. For the first time all day, she doesn't have to fake a smile. 